something else. Gross, you got uh, it's kind of gross. You got dead, flat, fat, flying critter, you know, stuff flying at you, but uh, yeah, that's what you want to do. Get all that fat, and uh, yeah, I had to improvise, so All right, so we have a healthy dose of Dawn soap in there. And lesson learned. Make sure you flesh your quarters really good if you plan on tanning them in the future. Because holy cow. These things have so much grease on them. I'm just... Uh, I don't even know how this is going to work. but Follow Con Concrete Outdoors, man. Don't follow my way. So now we're going to wash these suckers. So we're going to put these in here. Submerge them. I got this uh, homemade washer idea from uh, NBA, my man Roland. It's going to be really soapy, so it's going to have to go through a lot of water, yada, yada, yada. Rinse about. Bring this dude out. I'm behind you, don't see me. Tail suck. Oh shit. Oh. Let's see what happens. Oh uh, yeah. You gotta hang in the dry there. Hang them to dry all over again. Alright, so we got our coon hide. 
We warmed up our solution. Make sure you read the directions. Just let it sit for uh, 30 minutes, hot water. Shit, it tells you how to tan a hide too, right on the back. Gotta shake this up real well. Sorry, I sound funny. I have a gloss in my mouth because I just got my tooth pulled today. All right, like I said before, man, watch Coon Creed Outdoors tanning. Um, I think I let them dry too long. So, see how this is gonna work, though. Pour some in this thing right here. Got a little brush. Make sure you wear gloves. What? Doing some. You want to do both sides. And you just want to knead this in. Pretty rough. Especially in the hard places. Do the other side. And then you let them dry for a few days and then we'll be breaking breaking the hide. Now how the hell am I gonna shut this off? Shit. Flip them right first uh, first side out and hang them up for a day. And turn them back around and let them dry the rest of the way. So the beavers got a little wet outside because it's, it's raining. It's moist out. So they're not as dry as the coons. Maybe they'll take the tanning stuff better. We'll see. Alright, so five hides. You know, nothing big. I use that much of the bottle. I bought two bottles. So not too bad. All right, so I think this is about as dry as it's gonna get. Um, I don't know, it's all turned out, so um, we're just gonna break it. It all turns out, we use this pole. Hopefully nothing rips, I don't know. We'll find out together. Hopefully I'm in the shop.
too. He uses a piece of uh, barbed wire, uh, not barbed wire, but rebar. I don't have that, so let's do it this way. Best we can. Gotta get all these dang edges. Said you'd get some hair, but if you did it right, you shouldn't get too much. Let's turn him right side out. See how he flows. Didn't lose very much hair, so that's cool. Snap him a couple times. See what we got. See what we're working with. Say that's pretty good. Hopefully that's in the shot. Not too bad. A little light on the hair on the belly. But, uh, you know, the back of him is full, man. Say for my first time, that's not too bad, huh? A couple, a little bit more. You know, breaking them. It's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Cool. That was way longer than I expected it to be. You see, it's very pliable, turning white. No areas. I can just stretch it out. Those areas right here, right there. Just work them, stretch them. I'll find another spot to, you know, to do that. I mean, the hair is not slipping, but it just cracked a hole in it. So I don't know. Damn no. Maybe a wire wheel? Shite. Note to self. Thin the beaver hide. Alright, now let's try this hard ass beaver. This one I put a crap load of stuff on, you guys seen? It's like. Still got a shine to it. But it's gonna be really tough, man. Note to self. There's a beaver. You can see how thick that is, like, and how it's way more out here, it's flimsier and stuff, because it's probably where his back is at, but that is where his back is, and also, when you're putting the tan solution on, I got some on the fur, don't know how I'm going to get that out, um, so you don't want to get, you know, do the tanning, make a mess, put the fur on top of it, it's just not good. Alright, see while well, this turns out here. I don't know if it's gonna rip or what. I don't know how this can work. Oh, that's 
way tougher. That's so much tougher. Oh, shit. I think I'm going to need something harder than wood. I don't know if you guys can see the skin, but it's pretty thick, man. Guess I won't be making any garments. It's kind of, it's not very strong, you know. So, except for this back part here. But, I'm afraid to pull it. So yeah, that's the beaver. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Skin your critters right, especially for me. <laughs> yeah. All right, so there's the beaver. It's uh, definitely not clothing. It's not clothing material. That's nice fluffy. Um, my skin's awfully brittle. I don't know how that happened. Like, I, if you're too rough with it, it'll literally rip. Rip like paper. Um, I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. So, but definitely wall quality. You know. All right. Just want to make this short video. Tell you guys that I appreciate you watching this series with me and uh, learning with me and uh, definitely more learning to do I got a little snapped his tail off gotta be careful but man now yeah, they look good they're hanging flow nice nice and full fur but yeah it's cool Worked out pretty damn well for my first time. What I've learned is skin my critters very well, make sure that there's no fat, and next time when I do the salt bath and I see more fat, skin them again, make them look real nice, and you will get a better product. Beaver, I don't really know what to say about the beaver. I got brittle skin. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if anybody else has ran in that situation. So that's going to be a learning curve for every time I tan the beaver. You know? Um, yeah. Other than that, coons turned out good, man. Um, also learned that uh, humidity... will jack your furs up and the one with the fun the one with the mold on it actually turned out fine and it's fine so it's good to know that you can uh, get the mold off your fur if you end up getting some and still salvage the fur all right everybody take care man appreciate it man appreciate every single flipping one of you <laughs> take it easy everybody have a great weekend